welcome back to JK Rentis. Today our topic is Kennedy's classification for partially edentulous arches. So in the year 1923, Dr. Edward Kennedy gave this classification to classify partial edentulous arches. So partial means half. Edentulous means, E means without, dentulous means teeth. It is to classify the arches which are partial and that is without teeth. He has given four main classification that is class 1, class 2, class 3 and class 4. We will see each classification one by one. So, if you can see in this figure, it is an arch. You can say it is a maxillary arch with all the teeth. In the class 1, it says bilateral edentulous area in the posterior region. Okay, so you can see this is bilateral. Bi means two, lateral means side. That is two edentulous areas on both these sides. And remaining teeth are present anterior to it. Okay, that means there are two edentulous posterior spaces. That is class one. Easy to identify. So we can see this. And these are remaining natural teeth. Basically, this is class one. In the class 2, it is similar to class 1, but in the class 2, there is only one edentulous area. That is, class 2 says, it says unilateral edentulous area. So, it is unilateral. Uni means one. Lateral means side. So, there is one edentulous area on either side. This is, the area can be this side or can this side. So, it includes unilateral edentulous area present in the posterior region to the remaining natural teeth. That is all the teeth are present anterior to this region. Okay. And there is only single edentulous space. That can be on the left side or can be on the right side. That is class 2. Now, so in the class 3 it says there is a single edentulous space. Okay. So this is the single edentulous space. And there is teeth present. Anterior as well as posterior to it. So, it means there can be any single space into which there will be teeth in the anterior as well as in the posterior region. The single space can here be, can be here also, can be here also, okay, it can be anywhere. But the space will be single and there will be teeth present anteriorly as well as in the posterior region to it, okay. That is class 3. Now, we will see class 4. Class 4 says there is a single edentulous area with bilateral spaces, okay. You will have to see there is a single area with bilateral spaces crossing the midline. So, you can see this is the midline and you can see two spaces but the area is one, okay. There is one area with two spaces which crosses the midline and the teeth are present posterior to it, okay. That means there are teeth in the posterior region and the edentulous area is in the anterior region. Okay. You need to remember all the four classes which is given by Kennedy. Now the Kennedy uh, has given four classes but later on Applegate found certain modifications in the arches. He had modified the class 3 into class 5 as well as class 6. So, there were two more classes added to the classification. We will see the apple gets modification now. So, what is class 5? It says a single edentulous area with the teeth present anterior as well as posterior to it. Now, you will say it is same as class 3. Then what is the difference? Basically, he says it says the anterior abutment. Okay. So, if for example, the anterior abutment is lateral incisor, it is not appropriate for taking the support. So, it is not supporting. So, whenever the anterior abutment is not adequate for the support, he says it must be classified into another classification. That is, he added it as a class 5. So, what is class 5? It is basically class 3 plus anterior abutment not supportive. This is class now he has added one more class that is class 6. In the class 6 he says there is a single edentulous space. So it is a single edentulous space with teeth present anterior as well as posterior to it. Again you will say it is same as class 3. But he added in that both anterior 
as well as posterior abutment is very strong for the support that is both are having tooth support rest all the classification is tooth tissue supported and in the class 6 it is the abutment supporting that is tooth supporting that's why he said it must be named as different class that is class 3 plus strong abutments or both these sides that is as anterior as well as posterior he added is class 6 so in this way Kennedy's classification plus appellate modification includes class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 till class 6 class 5 and class 6 is given by appellate so in this lecture i have explained you in short about Kennedy's classification now in the next lecture we will see about appellate's roots which helps us in determining Kennedy's classification easily or to know which classification it belongs to so we'll see it in the next lecture. Thank you so much.